Hello people, and welcome back to part 54 of Begusia, the City of Skylines build guide. We hope you're having a wonderful day. And we are back in Google Maps at the start of this episode because it is time to work on our University of Liberal Arts. So it's time to get a little bit of inspiration for that. So you may remember for the regular university, the University of Begusia, or the City University, whatever you want to call it, uh, we had a look at the University of Rochester over in uh, New York, I think it is. I think it's in New York. Uh, but the University of, uh, well, UC Berkeley, uh, University of California, Berkeley, um, kind of fits the liberal arts buildings very well because of kind of these, these red tiles that they have on the roof. So it's very in line with kind of the assets that we want to place. So, you know, I'm, I'm always kind of championing Google Maps for inspiration for you guys because it's such a useful tool. I know if you wanted to create this, you know, you have your road layout right here. <laughs> it's, uh, it's super useful. It's such a good tool. If you guys don't use it already, you absolutely should be doing. So I just wanted to get a bit of inspiration for the campus layout today. So kind of looking at this thing from the bird's eye view, it's very off center, isn't it? If you kind of look at the entrance point here, you've got kind of this little bow road. And then this road shoots off like not directly in the middle. And then you've got a little roundabout here. And then it kind of spans off in all different directions. There's lots of kind of open uh, green spaces. A lot of like a little mini forest in here as well. And you can kind of see how the buildings are placed. Kind of got your main buildings either side. These little open green spaces. It's all very nice indeed. It's kind of like a little monument here as well. I'm sure we can replicate that. It's actually a little clock tower isn't it? You can kind of see the clock face right at the top there. And then there's kind of a little fountain here with uh, some paths going around it. And you've got a little cluster of kind of important buildings all focused around this little fountain. So I'm sure we can replicate something with that. And then uh, it actually kind of backs on to a bit of a hillside as well. If you kind of zoom in out, you can see some kind of mountains uh, around here where the university actually backs onto. And there is a football stadium here as well. Uh, the, the California Golden Bears play here by the looks of it. Uh, there's also, it looks like, yeah, there is um, there's a baseball and a track and field stadium in this university too. So we may struggle to fit both of those into the Begusia University of Liberal Arts. But yeah, great tool. It's helped me to get some inspiration for the build today. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and dive in to City Skylines. Okay, here we are. So we are hanging out over by the cliffside town at the moment, and uh, you guys really enjoyed this build. Thank you so much for all the kind support, likes and comments on that video. Uh, yeah, we, we mentioned it during that build, is that this kind of big open space here. Uh, that light you see at Berkeley kind of backs onto a hillside, and uh, we've got a lot of space to play with. And uh, we're going to kind of have some different tiered things going on as well, so we'll kind of explain that uh, as we go on to build. So yeah, let's go ahead and kind of start mapping out something of a road network and do a, a little bit of terraforming as well. Let's kind of delete the stuff that we placed. Okay, so I don't want this university just to be on kind of one level on this kind of flat field that we've got here. We're going to do a little bit of terraforming uh, just to help kind of add a different layer to the university. So we don't want it to be too high. So maybe we kind of go for this level here. Let's start to round off a little bit of a platform for some buildings to sit on. So if we kind of come here, we'll flatten all this out. Let's bring this guy along here and just kind of take a look at all this. Let's make sure our brush size is a little bigger. And we'll kind of cut away at a lot of this mountain. I think we'll probably cut it through to this side because I'm going to rework these highway roads as well. Uh, we're going to turn this into kind of a Y interchange to link these two together because this was done just so there was a connection there so it's probably time to tidy that up uh, whilst we are over here okay so everyone has gone we now have a nice open area to start playing with here and i'm really looking forward to it so in light with the new sunset harbor i think we're going to introduce our first trolley buses and kind of hook them into this town right here and maybe bring them down into the fishing village as well a uh, quick side note, there has definitely been some kind of changes with the way population and job demand works with the recent patch. Still trying to figure out kind of the ins and outs of it, although definitely with your populations falling. I know in our Discord we've been talking about it as well, uh, which is linked down below, shameless blow. Uh, but the Child Health Centre and Elder Care Centre are now pretty much essential buildings for any kind of large population centres you have. 
um, it's pretty important that you get these things placed because uh, you'll notice kind of on episode 51 we were at 77,000 population and now that Sunset Harbour has hit we have dropped down uh, just over 12,000 it was at its lowest point. Uh, okay so let's kind of start planning in our main roads here so we're going to have a trolley bus turnaround point but we'll get our main roads placed in. Let's kind of snap to start by placing our main road there maybe a little further back actually so we're going to snap onto this railroad guideline we'll bring that guy through there and let's just bring him down here as well okay so i want some kind of plazas to be focused around this so i think we'll go for the regular picnic plaza or plaza with picnic tables now let's just make sure that we can actually grab uh, the trolley bus road here so we'll make it a one-way turnaround system I kind of like that, that seems pretty cool. Then maybe we can double the plazas up as well. So let's have one on each side. Okay, and then we'll grab our zoo path and we'll carry this guy as well so people are able to uh, switch between different sides of the rail. Okay, so now we have a little, uh, the old elevated zoo path. To go over and above. I'm thinking of introducing some new Sunset Harbour transport stuff in here. Um, I'm thinking probably the train station and metro hub would be best. Get rid of the monorail, uh, upgrade the monorail in this part of town into overground metro and then obviously the train hub would continue because uh, we have train lines here as well. So uh, let me know what you, guys, what, you think, what you guys think of that and uh, we'll definitely implement some Sunset Harbour transport stuff into the city too. Okay, so this is a pretty nice turnaround point for the new trolley buses, and uh, we'll definitely get those in before we finish the build up. So with the trolley bus line finishing here, we can have this guy as regular road. So let's carry on planning out that road network. I'm going to try to stay as straight as possible with this road, just so it gives us a nice kind of platform to base the university off, and then we'll grab our freeform tool, and then stick in as close in line with railway as possible. Kind of bring this guy over here. And then we can add another connection in there as well. So that's going to allow people to come down a couple of different ways. So we'll bring this guy down. He needs to touch the ground again pretty soon. That should do nicely. And then we'll grab our trolley bus road. Bring him to there, ever so slight curve with our freeform tool, and hook him up. And then we'll upgrade this guy into trolleybus roads as well. Uh, let me guys know what you think of the new trolleybus road. I'm not super convinced as to how it's going to perform against trams and stuff. Uh, maybe you guys have already kind of implemented it into your towns and you're, uh, you're fully convinced by the benefits, but I've yet to play with it too much yet, so we'll kind of see. And again, this guy. Oh, okay, yeah, so we can't cross over train lines. I guess that makes sense. Okay, well, maybe we'll keep this bridge going then a little bit until it kind of enters the cliffside. That's fine. Let's break him for right now. Okay, we can do that at a later date. It's no problem. So bring this guy down. I mean, we'll lose some of our trees, but we can always put them back in. And uh, I guess it would make sense for it to kind of come through the town centre here. And then, yeah, let's turn them around here. We'll have a couple of trolley bus stops in. So you can make a loop to each side of the town. Obviously, don't forget to not upgrade your small roads. Uh, let's fill that in. All right, guys. So there have been some slight infrastructure interchanges. <laughs> so I started deleting the old cargo line, which uh, now no longer exists. We've just switched back to a regular old, uh, just boat cargo hub over here, just the cargo harbour. Uh, so this cargo line no longer exists. And I've been thinking, you know, a university, they're usually near pretty big towns, and because we have our kind of secondary downtown over here, I thought it would be kind of a good idea to provide a bigger surrounding suburb. So that's what we've done. <laughs> uh, so we've kind of flattened out all this land here, you know, kind of terraformed. Uh, so we have a much easier time to build. We can carry on expanding the fishing town out here. 
Uh, we now also have a kind of a big old suspension bridge that's a little bit rickety at the moment. I will tidy this up during one of the streams. Uh, and then we come back to a simple uh, T inter interchange on the highway. So this is now a lot neater. And uh, you know, this carries on to the National Park and then back onto the island, etc, etc. So yeah, there's all the uh, all the flying cars. You can see where the, the bridge used to be and how much we've dropped the land by here. So kind of these are the old cars. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's dropped by quite a bit. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely kind of tidy up some of this stuff as well. But for right now, the uh, the connection is there, so everyone's happy. Okay, so let's actually start working on the meat and potatoes of today's episode of our our uh, University of Liberal Arts. Okay, so I'm thinking kind of this is going to be the entrance right here, and we've got room to put stuff over there. So let's kind of take that as a basis. So we're going to grab our curve road tool, and I think we're going to have a nice little curved introduction. So we'll come out by 10, and then we'll curve over by 10. And then let's continue this up to there. So what's the distance from here to here in cost? It's 960. So that would be where we want to come out again. So we're two snap nodes away from that one right there. So one, two. So we'll come out by 10 and then curve by 10. Oh, looks like that was a little bit off. Let's try that again. There we go. So we'll have a one-way flow system. I guess that should be easy to have the one-way flow system go this way. Yeah, just so we're not putting too much strain on this initial junction here, so there's no traffic lights. Okay, that's cool. Uh, so let's paint out our campus area. So obviously this thing's going to be pretty big. We can actually kill uh, a little bit of the national park boundary here as well. Let's take this back kind of all the way up to there. And then kind of the highway can be the new boundary for the national park. Uh, then we can paint in our new campus area. If anybody would like to name the uh, University of Liberal Arts, please feel free to let me know what it should be called in the comments. Okay, so this is my mistake. It looks as though I have accidentally loaded Begusia with the unlock all items mod loaded and saved by accident. That was totally my bad. You know, usually you should have to progress through the options and the levels of the university in order to get access to these later buildings. Uh, like we did with the University of Technology and the the City University. That was totally my bad, my mistake, but yeah. So we now have access to everything, which I guess isn't really a bad thing. You know, it means we can we can finish in today's episode at least, rather than having to wait for things to unlock, but yeah. That's my mistake. I can only uh, apologise for that. So do we want the main administration building kind of on this main road? I think we'll kind of make a little bit of a platform for it. Let's switch to our road with grass. And if we come out, let's move one snap node in from the 10 markers. Kind of like this. Again, we'll keep that one way system in flow. The one way systems aren't hugely important for your universities. It's just kind of, um, just to keep it flowing. You know, they won't attract so many people to the point where you need one-way systems in. So that's going to turn this into a liberal arts university, which is going to be wonderful. It's a nice, impressive looking building, and hopefully you guys can kind of see the resemblance uh, with UC Berkeley for those kind of red, are they mosaic tiles? Am I remembering that right? That might be totally wrong, but maybe. But it's a great looking building. And it's similar to all the other two university buildings, we have uh, these snap paths, little nodes where we can draw paths out from immediately. So that's going to be really great. Okay, let's delete some of those. And uh, we'll take this land back a little bit as well. Let's go ahead and uh, just push this guy back up towards the highway. There we go. And we've kind of got a little elevated thing here as well. The train line is also sunk as well, so we'll be able to do some kind of really nice suburban things here as well with a... Uh, a sunken train line that'd be really nice and we'll definitely come back for another episode to try and finish off kind of at the suburb for the the secondary downtown over here as well okay so let's kind of have a little look here so we have our dormitories so i want to kind of make 
you know, an area for dormitories. I don't just want them scattered around kind of individually. We want them to be, you know, kind of where students would live. That's like the living quarters of the district. So I think we'll kind of have them close to the sand town centre. So we'll bring an arm off like this. And I want them kind of focus. How big is the asset here itself? So if we kind of had one here up against the road. Let's try and bring him in as straight as possible. Let's actually draw in. Okay. So we'll kind of make like a little square, I think, for our, uh, our dormitories to sit on. Let's make sure that we just snap to the angle here while we draw this in as central as possible you can kind of line it up between these two trees here when you move the asset you can kind of judge it to the best of your ability to line it up straight okay so that's going to give us some nice kind of dorms and they're going to serve as kind of nice buildings along the street as well okay let's have a look at maybe a little centerpiece with this square that we've built so we have a couple of things we have the liberal arts fountain We've also got the academic statue. There's a couple of these things. So I think the fountain would kind of be best. Let's go ahead and kind of drop this right up along the middle like that. So you know, they're all kind of focused around the fountain like that. I think that's pretty nice. And then we can just carry on and uh Hook our guys in with some more paths. Let's have all our snapping back on. And maybe come out from here. We can hook these guys in like that. And then maybe we can make a little bit of a communal square here as well. And then we'll probably bring this guy back up as well and hook him in like that. Okay. So that's going to be our little dormitories. And we can kind of just duplicate this pattern as many times as we like. If we need to fit more students in. But for right now, that should be uh, enough for what we need. So the next kind of main building is going to be the study hall. So let's kind of have a look at the subsequent buildings. So we have the, uh, the groundskeeping, which will be great. We can get some of those in. And I think I'll actually have a road that runs through the campus. So maybe let's try and factor this in. So maybe, maybe we can start it from here. We can bring this guy up like this. So it's kind of similar to what we did with our... with our city university and then maybe just down here we can have a little kind of a dirt road maybe just a down there and we'll have our groundskeeping building over here too and then we can surround him with some woodland and maybe some nice little dirt paths that are going to come out from him as well so we'll be able to get some nice trees around him and then maybe we can just hook this guy into the street as well It's kind of like the little maintenance shack. It's not on the main campus. It's maybe just kind of tucked away. You know, obviously this is kind of a very prestigious university. They don't want kind of the the dirty, dusty maintenance stuff right nearby. Kind of all the fancy stuff. So it's kind of tucked away in a little woodland maybe. Is my thought process behind that. So there's also a drama club. Let's uh, have a little look where we can get this in perhaps. Let's try to... Let's come away from that grid pattern and start to get some smooth curves in here so we'll kind of have a path that goes up there and then this guy will climb up the hill that's not too steep a, a hill is it no that's fine and then just for reference sake let's grab a path and bring him kind of straight up with this cliff so we know where we're snapping to and that'll give us a nice opportunity to drop quite a big important build in here so let's drop that in right now so let's grab let's see so we have the school of education so we could drop this in here environmental studies or the school of economics I think we'll go for the School of Education here, actually. Let's drop this guy in. So he's a real nice, big, important-looking building. He's slightly raised up. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So I want to kind of space my larger buildings apart. So I think we'll kind of make sure we place these guys in 
So we have the School of Environmental Studies, and this thing is a kind of a really big, important looking building. I want this fairly close to the roadside, I think. So we'll perhaps have this one here. Let's go ahead and drag that path out, just so we have, again, just a snap reference. Let's draw this guy out from there, and then plop him in there for right now. And how about that one right there? Yeah, that's a pretty good looking building. So kind of looking at it from the roadside here. You can kind of pick out these important buildings already. And then finally the School of Economics. And I think we'll place this guy over here. So he's got kind of a really important grand looking entrance. So we should definitely do something special for him. Let's uh, find a good spot. So probably over here, I think. We can kind of maybe drop a couple of fountains in front of him. So let's factor that in. Let's go ahead and grab couple of these little fountains right here. Again we'll bring our road out or path network out, sorry. Let's go up to there and then we'll plop some fountains in. So maybe one fountain here and then can we squeeze some of those statues in? Looks like we can just about either side. Okay. So I think kind of when you're building your campus areas, if you if you place those key assets first, it really does kind of help you bring the whole thing together and then you can kind of drop the smaller stuff around them. Okay, so let's get this guy right in the middle of the plaza. Yeah, I don't think that's too bad looking, is it? Got the nice fountain outside here. Two little like I don't statues either side as well. Terraforming's a little janky here as well, so we'll just smooth smoothen that out a touch. So there are a number of things that these things actually do for your city, similar to all the other universities. So these last three buildings, you can only place one of them per campus. Uh, so the School of Economics, um, through intensive budget planning and tax management, students from School of Economics help the local office zones increasing their revenue without upsetting the city's populace. Uh, the environmental studies uh, will encourage students to enlighten the masses about the negative effects of consumer culture and nature, reducing garbage accumulation in the city. And the faculty provides all schools with an influx of substitute and student teachers, which allows classrooms to have higher student capacity and helps educate more efficiently. So these are all nice little buffs that the university assets give to your city. And uh, that's one of my favourite things about the campus DLC is, uh, is that little thing that we get with them. Okay, so let's carry on placing some of these more key buildings. So we have the we've placed the groundskeeper, so I guess the study hall and the drama club and the gymnasium and the cafeteria. So those four buildings could probably all go together in a little square, kinda of like a little almost like a student like a student communal area. You know, you can go there to study, you can go to the gym, there's a you know, you can get your books there as well if you need to. So maybe we can kind of formulate these guys around like a little open square. That might be quite cool. So let's bring this guy away and then we'll... I do want to start introducing some curves. I don't want to stay too rigid with the grid. So we'll bring him in like that and then connect him through there. Okay, so we've got kind of a, a bit of opportunity here for some nice green spaces. So again, we'll place in the big buildings first. So maybe the study hall can kind of sit on an angle like this. How's that looking? Okay, and the great thing about campus is you can place these buildings without a road, which really helps. Let's get the gymnasium in. And these are they're actually pretty similar looking assets based on their silhouettes. Yeah, okay, I'm happy with that. And then let's grab the cafeteria to kind of sit behind them here. So kind of in the middle of them still, if that makes sense. Let's actually go ahead and draw the paths in first. I think that'll make this a little bit easier. So bring him down like this. So those guys are connected together with the path. And then he can hook in there. 
Oh, that was not planned. <laughs> they kind of hooked in perfectly, which is nice. Uh, and then, bet we can't come out from here, can we? No, that's fine. Let's do a couple of little paths like this. Okay, so there we go. It's centralised a little more now. So again, this is going to act as a little bit of a, of a communion area for our sims. And let's see if we can provide them with a little, maybe a little asset in here. I think the fountain's maybe a little bit too big. How about one of the statues? Or maybe we can just go for a kind of a winding dirt path here. Come out of the corner. Let's get all our snapping off. You know, and we'll just kind of keep this as an open field with some trees maybe. And kind of connect this dirt path in a couple of different spots. Yeah, we can get some nice like like trees and rock assets here in our little detailing session towards the end of the episode. I think that'd be quite nice. Wonderful. Okay, so let's carry on placing our stuff. So next we have the It's an outdoor study area, isn't there? Yeah, okay, so over here. So I'd quite like this alongside the road, I think. Let's bring this path out a touch. Okay, so we just reworked the paths out a little bit and moved our uh, School of Economics over. And that's going to allow us to place the commencement office. So it's kind of like symbolic, you know, they graduate where they come in. It's all very douchey. <laughs> But uh, it's going to fit in uh, really nicely alongside the main building again. So it's going to create a little cluster of important buildings, kind of how we have over here. It's going to be really nice. Let's have a look what else we have to play with. So we've got kind of cafeterias in and stuff. Uh, so there's a couple of clubs we can place. So there is another one, isn't there, I believe? Uh, or is it just the one? So there's the art club and the dance club. Yeah, there usually is two. Okay, so as these are kind of s smaller support buildings, we'll kind of use them to fill some like larger empty spaces that we have. Well, not fill them, just to kind of give them a bit of purpose. So we'll place those towards the end. So we do have the media lab. This could be quite fun to place. Let's try and grab this. I want to kind of put it on an angle. Maybe put it there. Okay. And then we'll grab our paths again. And we'll go a little bit freeform. For the, the media club. Can we come around the back here? Yes, we can. So we'll bring him out in another direction. Hook him up. So I'm trying to bring in some different shapes. Alright. Very nice indeed. So we could get the library, and I think I want to place the bookstore first. Let's find the bookstore. Here we go. So I do want this along the main road as well. Probably not directly outside of the university, but maybe here. Because these make really nice kind of high street buildings. I wonder if we could actually place it as a main building. Let's paint the campus area out a touch more just so it encompasses kind of the main road and the zoning on that road because we are going to be putting some commercial along the street as well maybe we can get him in here right up along the plazas maybe we can go for two of those so it's kind of mirrored uh, with the plazas on each side Yeah, I think that's kind of a nice frontage to the university. I'm relatively happy with that, I think. Alright, so the next building we want to go ahead and place is the library. Again, kind of because we have two big buildings either side of the main building and this side, I think we'll pop this in here as well. So that's going to fill that space out nice. So that gives us a nice solid front to our university. I think I'm pretty happy with that. Again, we'll just kind of tidy up the university area here. Let's take a chunk out of it there and then bring it up along the back of the School of Education. And then tidy it up along the road here as well. Okay. 
So we've got most of the main buildings in right now. Do just still need to place the auditorium. Well, I think I'll have this near the stadium assets though. Yeah, okay, so let's look at a few of those. Let's grab some varsity sports stuff. So I need to leave the game running because I've burnt through all my cash <laughs> during this whole thing pause. So we'll be right back. Okay, so I just left the game running for a couple of minutes and we've now got some uh, some decent income coming in. So we can uh, we can play some nice stadium stuff. So obviously when we're looking at Google Maps, the, the university at UC Berkeley has an American football stadium in it. Um, but I think it'll maybe be a little bit overkill for this area so I don't think we're going to use it I think we'll just run with the baseball and track and field stadiums maybe have one on each side of the campus or maybe just one not sure what else do we have there's a basketball arena as well it's a pretty big one in the aquatic centre Aquatic Centre is fairly small, so we could make use of that. Okay, let's get the track and field stadium in first of all. So let's make a little bit of a supporting road network for this. I think we'll delete this guy for right now. Just, and then we will kind of work with the idea of the... of the groundskeeper being a little bit out of the way. So maybe we carry on the trolley bus zone here. Here they come. Here are Baguzi's first trolley buses. Let's have a little look at the stops. Okay, so there are a few people hanging around. We'll see how they perform in the long run, I guess. Okay. So, track and field stadium. If we're looking at the bulk of the asset here. Yeah, I think we can get it in there. I think this will be more than fine to for people to serve that. So we'll have it by itself within the campus area. So let's grab ourselves that road again. And we'll come up behind the dormitories. And then run parallel to there. That should give us enough room to get it in. Yes, it does. And that's going to be straight in the middle. Maybe we should bring the trolley bus up to here. Is there any room for any plazas, I wonder? We're a little too short. Could get some Paradox plazas in there. And then bring the trolley bus back through that. Okay, I think we'll try that. So we'll leave this as a trolley bus stop. That's fine. And then we'll go ahead and grab this road into trolley bus. And then I'll spring up to there for right now. And then let's get the trolley bus road. So this can be trolley bus. I feel like I'm saying the word trolley bus too many times. <laughs> so we'll place him there. And then Let's just call it the TB. And then another Paradox Plaza in there. And then we can upgrade these roads back into our grass road. Let's go for right here. Let's make sure that this is a one-way uh, trolley road. And this as well. Okay. And then we'll grab our road with grass and find a place to hook him back in. And then there's an opportunity to put some woodland here. Let's go ahead and make sure we upgrade them all. Okay, so we'll grab our trolley bus line. So they can stop in here, that's fine. And then as they come out, we'll have a stop next to the plazas here, perhaps. I think we'll actually invert the one-way system 
just so the trolley buses don't cross one another. So you can stop there. That's wonderful. And then we'll also add some pathways and link this guy into the rest of the university as well. Uh, let's have a little discussion about the front. Let's make some assets present here. So I think we want a fountain, of course. And we can kind of get him fairly centralised like that. And then maybe one of the statues each side. So there is two. So we can get this one in right next to him. And then the second one on the other side. Okay. Uh, and then I think, should we go for high density commercial? I think low density. We've got some nice big commercial strips along here. And then up to here as well. And then we'll kind of see how that high street develops. Maybe add in a couple of the uh, Japan content creator stuff as well. So there's the ramen restaurant we can maybe place. Let's get that in. That thing's pretty big. A kind of district office building might work nicely here as well. Yeah. That feels, guys, like a nice place to jump into a detailing time lapse. We're going to add some nice woodland along the back of the university here. Get some rocks in, fill out these little plazas we've got. And add in a couple of those smaller buildings uh, that we overlooked uh, during kind of the main build. So yeah, uh, let's go ahead and detail this thing out a little. Alright guys, that is going to do it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, a like below is always appreciated equally as much. If you didn't enjoy it, please feel free to leave a dislike and let me know why down in the comments below. Having built all three universities of Bagusia now, I still think that the City University is still my favourite one to build. I just prefer the assets from that one. Uh, but this liberal arts campus and the accompanying town are certainly coming along quite nicely and we will carry on detailing and expanding a little bit within the build guide live streams. Thank you so much for 5,000 subscribers. Uh, we'll definitely do an extra special long stream over the weekend to celebrate that. And yeah, just thanks so much for supporting the channel recently. Uh, you guys are really enjoying everything we're putting out, including the streams, these episodes, and the modular builds. 
Uh, so yeah, thanks for the support. It really makes me happy that you guys are enjoying it. Enjoy the rest of the outro charge and check out some nice cinematic shots that we get of the campus and uh, see the trolley buses in action. They actually do look quite nice now they're in. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and as always, enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>